Hey there, welcome to Proud Animator YouTube channel. So in this lesson, we are going to animate a run cycle of a dog using Rubber Host 2 plugin in After Effects. So let's start. Now I have already illustrated a flat style dog over here and here we are going to use Rubber Host 2 plugin for animating its run cycle. I have already made videos on how to animate, how to use Rubber, so rubber Hose 2 to animate a walk cycle and the link are on the description below. You can check it out. So here I'm using uh, the technique to how to animate walk how to animate run cycle of a four leg animal so right now i am taking an example of a dog but you can also use this same technique for animating a run cycle of a uh, horse or even deer or anything else there might be slightly uh, change in speed but the technique overall technique will be the same okay so first of all i will pick the pain tool and make the foot Now this will be the neutral pose of the foot. I have restricted the overall work area to 12 frames. The reason behind it is because a typical run cycle takes around half a second so that's why. So I will select this layer and open position and rotation property and just will put the keyframe on both and I will jump on to next 12 frame and do the same thing. After that I will jump on to 6th frame do the same thing and first of all I will solo this so that I can slowly focus on this particular layer and after that I will move the foot backwards and I will move it up as well and also I will rotate it like this uh, let's give it 7 or let's give it 80 to make it a round figure now let's check it okay so we need to change the graph a bit First of all, I will just go jump onto the last frame and I will just rotate it slightly on the opposite direction. Let's give it minus 25. Same will be over here because this initial and the ending frame keyframe should be same. And I will jump onto next frame and give it zero. So let's check it now. I think we can rotate it further. Yeah, it's looking better. After that, I would just copy the, I'll put and copy the Y axis values from here and paste it over here. So, which basically means till this frame, the, uh, the foot will be on the ground. And after that, it will lift upwards. Okay, I will fix the motion graph, motion paths a bit. Okay, I have just moved this keyframe one frame afterwards, so it's uh, looking better actually. But I think it's crossing the ground at this particular position, so we have to we need to fix it. After that one frame before, I will just move it slightly backwards something like this and I will slightly adjust the graph I mean the motion path yeah it's perfect now right now I will select both the end and just give it first one is out last one is in and the middle one is is Okay, so it's perfect now. So right now we are going to add a expression in both of this position and the rotation property so that it loop continuously over the time. And that is loop in plus loop out minus the value. Okay, so I will just simply copy and again do the same. 
okay so right now one foot is ready so i will simply copy and paste and just go to the next two frames and just offset it by two frames and i will do one thing i will pick this color for the foot that is behind okay and right now we can just do it once more all right so this one will be on it will be just uh, six frames offset it by six frames so because uh, this will be the foot that is i mean the uh, other two legs so let's open the position property first of all i will adjust the position then we can offset it later on All right, so it's looking pretty nice now. I mean, it's looking a four-legged animal running. So right now, only thing that is left is to animate the body and just add the limbs on this uh, to attach the body with this. Okay, so let's do it as well. So here is the body layer and after that, so this is the neutral pose. I will just put a keyframe on rotation and position first of all. And I will move on to three frames. I will move it above and I will rotate it so that it doesn't look inclined. So I am just taking help of the ruler. All right, I will jump on to again three frames and just do it on the other side and I will copy the position. And after that, I will again jump on to next two frames, sorry, three frames and I will copy this. And I will just copy the initial frames over here. So let's easy is it and let's check it out how it turns out. Yeah, it's looking pretty perfect. So I don't think we need to fix it. We just have to select this put 3, put 4 and put it below. Alright. And we just have to offset the body layer but we can do it later on. First of all, we have to animate the neck and the head as well. So turn on the neck. So first of all, I will select neck and head. I will uh, parent the head with the neck and the neck with the body layer. And also the ear and ear 1 and ear 2 as well with the head. Okay. So first of all, I will just put rotation and position on the neck layer. And I will just animate it accordingly. Yeah, it's looking pretty perfect and after that the head layer, I will turn it on. Okay, so right now it's everything is looking pretty nice and right now only thing that is left is just attach the limb with the body and also animate the ears. So first of all, I will select everything and unsolo. And I will just select this and solo. And after that, I will jump onto rubber hose and create a hose. Name it limb. I will increase the stroke to 114 and just give the direction to the opposite side because for a four legged animal in maximum cases the for the first two legs the fold is backwards and the for the backward legs the fold is forwards so that's why and i will adjust the length and uh, i will just play with the settings a bit after placing it at the exact place
okay i will just parent this one with the body layer and this one with the foot and let's shake it so i will just simply change its color all right it's looking pretty nice so right now we can I will select this and copy. So remember that copying a hose you, when you are using rubber hose, you can you can't just simply copy and paste. You have to go to here in manage and duplicate the layers. Uh, if you just copy and paste, that rig won't work properly. Now I will turn off this one and simply focus on the other foot. Okay, so I think we have to increase a length, increase the length a bit. And I will parent it with this port. Okay, so after that I will change the color of the stroke to this dark color. And now we can just duplicate it again and do it do the same for the other legs as well. Alright, so we have done all the four legs and it looks pretty nice. But uh, if we just offset the neck and head as well as the ears a bit, then it will look even better. So let's do that as well. First of all, we are going to animate the ears. I will just open the ear too and simply put a keyframe on the position and rotation. Move on to six frame and I will rotate it like this. I will just simply copy and paste the first keyframe to the end one. Okay, and I will just copy this expression and paste it over here. Remember to paste the expression in all the properties. Okay, so I can simply copy this and go to year one and simply paste it. It will paste everything with the expression including expression as well. Okay, so right now we are going to offset this ears. So first of all, I'm going to offset the neck and before that I will offset the body as well. So first offset the neck, select the neck, head, ear and and so select all of this four and I will just offset the body two frames. Now after that, I will offset the head First of all, I will offset neck. So I will uh, just offset it by two frames. Then the head, and I will also offset the ears. Yeah, one frame is enough. But I will offset each of the ears with respect to each other by two frames. Now let's check how it's looking. So yeah, it's looking pretty nice. So. Like this, you can just animate a four-legged animal run cycle using rubber hose to plug in. So, hope you learned a lot and also 
you can just add more details and it will look something like this and uh, you can also add the tail and just add some shades to it so for that just simply add it and just copy with the layer uh, I mean just parent it with the layer with which we want to move it along along with it so alright so that is it for this lesson hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from it okay so if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the video then make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates until then goodbye